hello everyone welcome back to my minimax club so today we have to find the value of x and y for these two equations so first one is x plus y is equal to 20 and x times y is equal to 44 in first equation we see that it is sum of x and y and in second equation it is the product of x and y so now let's say it is our equation number one so we just uh, call it it is our equation number one and, and it is our equation number two so now it is our equation 1 and equation 2. Now we are going to solve x plus y is equal to 20. So from equation 1, we see that x plus y is equal to 20. Now we are going to shift this x, then we get y is equal to 20 minus x. Let's say it is our equation number 3. Now using equation 2, that equation 2 implies that here x times y so we are going to put this value equation 3 uh, in here uh, y which is 20 minus x is equal to 44 so we have just uh, put this value of y in equation 2 now multiplying x with 20 we get 20x and minus x times x is x squared shifting this one we get minus 44 is equal to 0 now rearranging this one we get minus x squared plus 20x minus 44 is equal to 0 now multiplying with minus 1 so we have this will be x squared because minus times minus will be plus so here minus 20x and it will be plus 44 which is equal to 0 now it is a nice quadratic equation so we have to find uh, the value of x by using quadratic formula here the value of a is equal to 1 and b minus 20 where c is equal to 44 now using quadratic formula here as we know that x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a now using value of a b and c here then we get that value of b is actually here it is minus value of b is minus 20 plus minus square root of here b squared is actually minus 20 whole squared and minus 4 times a is 1 where c is 44 all over 2 times a which is a is 1 now x is equal to minus time minus is plus 20 plus minus here minus 20 square will be 0 0 and 2 2 are 4 so 400 and minus 4 times 4 is 16 6 1 carry 4 times 4 is 16 and 1 17 so we just write 176 all over that 2 times 1 is 2 now our next step is x is equal to x is equal to 20 plus minus here when we subtract 400 minus 176 then we get 224 all over 2 now this 224 if we factorize this uh, let us consider here if we just uh, factorize this 224 then we have uh, dividing by 2 we have 2 1 is 2 2 1 is 2 and 2 2 are 4 similarly again dividing by 2 and then we get 2 5 10 and 6 12 so again 228 is uh, 56 and 214 is 28 so now here so x is equal to here 20 plus minus uh, here if we write that 2 on we know that there is 2 2 2 raised to the power 4 4 and multiply by 14 we get 224 so just putting here 2 to the power 4 times 14 we have 224 so whole square root all over now our next step is x is equal to 20 plus minus if we write and this 2 to the power 4 separately whole square root times 14 whole square root all over 2 then our next step will be 20 plus minus here we see that 2 to the power 4 now when we write it to square and then square and multiplying by this value of square root 1 over 2 then we get 2 to the power 2 means 2 squared times square root of 14 all over 2 now 
x is equal to 20 plus minus 2 squared is equal to 4 and times 14 so writing this denominator which is 2 separately with each term then we get here we have 2 tens are 20 and plus minus 2 twos are 4 times square root of 14 so we get here value of x which is x is equal to here we have two values of x we just write x1 is equal to 10 plus 2 times 14 and x2 is equal to 10 minus 2 times 14 now here we are going to just put this value of x1 in our equation 3 so we know that um, by equation 3 as we see here y is equal to 20 minus x it is our equation number 3 so for finding the value of y we are going to use equation 3 as y is equal to 20 minus x so let's say it is our x1 then it will be y1 so y1 here y1 is equal to so it will be there 20 minus x1 is 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 so here when we multiply this negative sign we get 20 minus 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 and y1 is equal to 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 so it is our value of y which is a real solution now for x1 is 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 then y1 will be 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 so if we write here that uh, our first pair of solution for x1 and y1 will be here x1 is 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 and 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 so these are the values of x and y now we are going to solve this value of x2 so finding a value of y2 for this value then we are going to use our equation 3 recalling equation 3 that is y is equal to 20 minus x so let's say it is x2 then it will be y2 so y2 is equal to putting value of x2 we get minus 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 and now y2 is equal to 20 minus 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 so y2 will be 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 so it is the value of y2 when x2 is equal to 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 now um, we are going to write the solution x2 y2 is equal to here x2 is 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 then y will be 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 so these are two pairs of uh, x and y values of x and y so now we are going to just uh, check our answer for using any pairs of values we can use first pair and also second one but answer will be the same so now our first equation is x plus y is equal to 20 now putting first pair of uh, values which is value of x is 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 and here uh, we just uh, write value of y which is 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 is equal to 20 now we see that positive negative can be cancelled then 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 so 20 is equal to 20 hence we prove that both sides are equal similarly we can use these values for equation 2 which is xy is equal to 44 now putting value of x that 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 multiply by 10 sorry here 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 which is equal to 44 now we know that a plus b times a minus b which is equal to a squared minus b squared so here 10 squared minus 2 times 14 whole squared is equal to 44 so 10 squared is equal to 100 and minus 2 squared is equal to 4 times cancelling this square with square root we get only 14 so here 100 minus 14 times 4 we know that 4 times 4 is 16 and 1 carry so we just write 56 and by subtracting we get 44 is equal to 44 so both sides are equal hence we proved other uh, equation for these values of x and y hence we see that 
these uh, values pairs of values for x and y these are actually our final answer so we just write it it is our final answer so hope you have understand all these steps and if you feel any problem you just ask question and comment box so that's it for today don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting contents thanks for watching goodbye